video we will learn about application of oxidation number as you all know oxidation number means the charge present on the atom in the combined state is known as oxidation number or oxidation state so by this property we can find out the acidic strength basic strength oxidizing and reducing agent and equivalent weight so first we will discuss about the acidic strength so acidic strength is directly proportional to the oxidation number okay like if we compare so2 and so3 then the oxidation state of sulfur is plus 4 and here it is plus 6 so so3 is more acidic than so2 and in other like if we compare hcl hcl2 hcl3 and hcl4 so the oxidation state of chlorine is plus 1 plus 3 plus 5 and plus 7 So HClO4 is more acidic than HClO3, HClO2, and HClO. The example like uh, if we compare N2O, NO, N2O3, N2O4, and N2O5. So the uh, oxidation state of nitrogen is plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, and plus five. So N2O5 is more acidic. then n2o4 n2o3 no and n2o now second we discuss about the basic strength second is basic strength basic strength is inversely proportional to the oxidation number like if we compare feo and fe2o3 then uh, the oxidation state of fe is plus 2 and here it is plus 3 So FeO is more basic than Fe2O3. Then the third we discuss the oxidizing and reducing agent. In this, first we will discuss about the oxidizing agent. Oxidizing agent. Oxidizing agent oxidizes other. Oxidizes other, and itself get reduced. itself get reduced like if you see that in this if effective elements are having maximum oxidation state so it will act as a oxidizing agent if the effective element effective element are having maximum oxidation state so it will act as a oxidizing agent like examples like pvcl4 uh, kmno4 k2cr2o7 and fecl3 other like if we talk others like uh, so so3 cro3 N two O five, N two O five, and Cl two O seven, M N two O seven. So these are the oxide and the oxy acid of these oxides are like of this it is H two S O four, H two C R O four, H N O three, and it is H C N O four, and it is H M N O four. these are the oxy acids then if we see this in non metal in non metal so in non metal examples like uh, o2 s8 and halogen in halogen like fluorine chlorine bromine iodine and if we talk about the oxidizing agent so fluorine is the most more oxidizing agent than chlorine and bromine and iodine then the second is reducing agent reducing agent reducing agent reduces others reduces others and itself get oxidized get oxidized and if the effective element Are a minimum 
oxidation state so it will act as a redu reducing agent like effective element having minimum oxidation state so it will act as act as reducing agent okay like uh, essential to Hg2Cl2 oxidation state is plus 1, is plus 2, Yb plus 2 and these both compounds are of lanthanide series. Lanthanide series. Then we talk about in metals. In metal. So in metal all are reducing agent all are reducing agent like if we talk about in first day group means in LP metals so the first is that the strongest reducing agent is lithium and the weakest reducing agent is Na sodium okay and if you see in non metal in non metal examples like uh, hydrogen H2 and carbon and if you see in metal hydride, in metal hydride, example like sodium hydride, cesium hydride, lithium, aluminium hydride, sodium borohydride, these. And next we discuss about the third is intermediate oxidation state so in intermediate oxidation state it can act as a reducing agent as well as oxidizing agent examples like H2O2 SO2 uh, N2O3 these and if you see the reaction uh, when S2, SO2 react with H2S so this forms uh, sulfur plus H2O so it is a reducing agent it will reduce SO2 and SO2 is a oxidizing agent. Okay, and if we react SO2 with HNO3, so this will form SO3 plus NO2. And it is an oxidizing agent, so it will oxidize SO2 and SO2 is a reducing agent. So a compound may can act as an oxidizing agent as well as reducing agent. Other example like H2O2 when we act with uh, Cl2, so this forms HCl plus O2. So it is an oxidize, uh, oxidizing agent, so it will oxidize H2O2 and it is a reducing agent. And H2O2 uh, react with Pb, uh, uh, Pb, Pbs. So this form PbSO4 and H2O, it is a redu reducing agent, so it will reduce H2O2 and H2O2 is an oxidizing agent. So the compound we can act as an oxidizing agent as well as reducing agent. And uh, H2O2 is used in the restoring of the old black lead paintings and the color of PbS is black and of PbSO4 it is white